Now, San Francisco's mayor has a new plan to crack down on crime in the city. Just close business earlier under the new curfew proposal for the Tenderloin area of the city. Businesses that sell liquor, smoke products, and prepackaged food would be forced to close between midnight and 5 a.m. Owner of New Princess Market in San Francisco, <laughs> Willie Marsawe, joins us now. Willie, let's talk about this proposal. Um, well, first, would this solve the issue of crime in San Francisco? I do not think so. What would it do? I, often, I do not think it will make any changes. Closing two hours before or after four hours, most of the activities that happens during the day it will continue. The, unless there is a police present, that actually stop the people from committing the crimes. They break into cars, break into stores. I think that's the best solution for the crime to stop or slow down. And, and um, are, is, is the new princess um, market, are you in the Tenderloin area? What part of San Francisco are you in and what kind of crime have you experienced in recent years? Well, the crimes, we, I am in the center of the Tenderloin. I'm at Adrian Hyde, which is like basically the center of it. Uh, the crimes break into cars, break into stores, break into uh, apartments and buildings, and, and basically smashing glasses and whatever they can get their hands on. And how often does it happen to you, for example, at New Pr Princess Market? Is this something you experience New on a Princess nightly basis? I would say very often, once a week or so. Well, and, and just again, what is it? Is it walk in, grab stuff, walk out? Is it is it armed robbery? Is it vagrancy? What is it that is the issue? Well, I'm the issue inside the store because we have so many cameras. I, we do not have beside the shoplifting, and, and 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 that's the main issue that we have outside of the store because they have no cameras. They break into cars. They're breaking and smashing the windows while they're walking by, and graffiti on the walls. That's mainly it. Drug dealings and activities, shoplifters and people who display their products mm -hmm. on the sidewalk to sell them. And, and I want to play out the two scenarios. So under this proposal, you have to close your store, I believe. It's, is it at midnight if this takes place or something like that? Um, what, would yes, that what would that do not only to your business, but to the neighborhood itself, which just kind of makes it become a little bit of a, a ghost town, except for the criminals. That's why I think it's, a, it's really a bad idea to close and just to close the 22 blocks where it's not safe for people to walk in that neighborhood. It will be darker. It will not be safe for the residents who walk in that neighborhood. We have a lot of clientele who actually finish their night shift at midnight. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when they come, they come, they do their shopping after midnight at the retail stores. Having a store that opens until 2, having a store that opens at 24-7 makes it convenience for people who live in the, in the neighborhood, in the block, to actually have access to their groceries. Right. If we are to close, they have to walk blocks in a dark area, in a dark uh, region, just like to get access to their groceries. Right. And that's why it's like, it's convenience. Not only this, the other aspect, having all these cars in the dark, it's just access to all these people who break into cars just to break because it's dark, no witnesses, no cameras. Every corner, every store has two or three people working. They are friends of the neighbor. They are the people that they go to when they finish their work. Right. They socialize with, they do their shopping. If we close all these, no witness if there is any crime it's happening in that region in the neighborhood, in the Tenderloin, nobody will see it. No camera will see it. I, as a business owner, if I see anything happen, any activities toward my business or my neighbor's business, I will call the police. I am a witness to what is going on. Right. If we stop them, then we have an issue and like no one sees nothing. So all the people that actually like to break into cars, break into stores, free reign. will have just a free reign in so much time. Yeah, free reign in the city. The other scenario is, as you just pointed out, just putting more police on the streets, more police presence to stop the crime. Really, really, I got to leave it there, Willie, but we appreciate you getting up early in California with us this morning and explaining the issue there in San Francisco. We wish you the best of luck.